NativeScript 6.2 came with something called scoped NPM packages. What does that mean and why is it helpful? Well, my friends, you're about to find out. It's an awesome feature. Let's roll the intro. So a couple of community members, Nathaniel Anderson and Nathan Walker, you might have heard about them on this channel before. They're big contributors from the community to the Native Script project. A couple of years ago, in 2017, in fact, they came up with the idea of having scoped packages for Native Script. What that means is you have an NPM package that's named at Native Script, and then everything is inside of that namespace, that scope. It's kind of like what uh, at Angular is doing these days, at NStudio, and many other ones are doing this as well. It took a while for the Native Script team to warm up to the idea and actually implement this, but now it's available. So right now they're supporting both the old style naming and imports for the core modules, as well as the new ones together. And there is a problem with that if you use them both in the same project. Not exactly a problem. There, it's backwards compatible and you can use them both in the same project, but you're going to end up using twice as much memory unless you implement a fix for it in Webpack. And I'm going to show you how to do that towards the end of the video. But for now, I want to show you how to do this, how to actually use it in uh, NativeScript Core and NativeScript Angular and NativeScript View. I've got my NativeScript core project. You can see that it's themed using John Papa's Peacock plugin for Visual Studio Code. This is blue, so it's telling us that this is NativeScript core project. And then I've got my NativeScript Angular project, and I also have my NativeScript view project. Let's check this out. I'm going to go back to core, and I have it actually running in the simulator right now. There's my hello world. Now let's pop open the code and let's take a look here. Now, first of all, in package.json, you can see that we have TNS core modules being a dependency here. So that means we're still using the old TNS core modules import. So here's our bootstrap app.ts file. Now, instead of this import right here for the application module, I can now say import something. I'm going to leave that blank for a second from, and then I'm going to go at native script check it out, slash core. All right, so native script core is the namespace. Let's go in here in parentheses here and press control space to see what's available inside of that package. I press control space and whoa, <laughs> let's scroll down this list because wow, look at all that. We got everything that's possible available here. Everything is possible is not really exactly what's available. Everything that's inside the TNS core modules is available. So you have your UI packages, you have your application packages, you have your data packages like observable. There's a lot of cool stuff in here and you can just use this one import for everything, which is huge. So I'm going to import application and then I'm going to say application.run and then pass in the module name. All right, <laughs> not much winnings here, right? We only have one line that we changed over. That's fine. Everything still works. We can head over to main page now. And now we have a little bit more we can change. So look at that. We have two import lines here. This event data is coming from TNS core modules slash data slash observable. And this page is coming from TNS core modules slash UI slash page. Hmm. Here is where we start to see the benefit. So I'm going to say import and then curly braces for now. And this is coming from at native script slash core again native script slash core and I'm going to comment both of these lines out now and check this out event data is there yeah and page is there in one import statement I don't need those two import statements anymore so I'm not going to have tons of lines of imports I'm just going to have one line of import and I'm going to import whatever I want from core so that's really cool and of course hello world is actually our own code file on native script, so we're not doing anything with that line. Everything still works, very cool. And of course, here we are in the main view model, we have our observable, which is currently coming from TNS core modules data observable. By the way, if you don't know what any of these are, you can take a look at all my other videos on this channel where I go through a lot of these. And you can also check out the courses that I have on nativescripting.com. Go to nativescripting.com. There's free courses to get you started with NativeScript Core and NativeScript Angular. And there's pro courses that are available as well that'll get you more advanced, in-depth topics on NativeScript. All right, so import, and I think you already know what's coming. This is coming from at 
native script slash core. And guess what? Observable is there as well. We don't need that top import anymore. So now everything is coming from native script core, but make sure that you change over all your application instances of that. So you're not using the double the memory or you can implement the webpack fix that I'm gonna show you a little bit later. So this takes care of native script core. All right, let's switch over to native script view for a second. Now native script view template already implements the at native script theme. So there's two packages right now, at native script theme and at native script core. And this is the home.view component that's in the view project. This is just the hello world template. It is already using at native script theme right here. So we're good to go on this side. Now let's take a look at Angular. Here's the Angular project. And this is where another change really happens. The big changes here. The other big package is at native script Angular. So I'm going to pop open this main.ts file and I'm going to say import and that's coming from at native script slash angular. So native script angular projects are going to have an extra namespace and that's native script slash angular. And we can import platform native script dynamic from there now. Anything that's related to native script core modules, we're going to still import from at native script slash core. And anything that's being imported from the native script Angular packages are going to be now imported from at native script slash Angular. So that includes anything that's related to the router, like native script router module right here. We can change this over import that's coming from at native script slash Angular. And that's the native script router module. So you get the idea. Now, why are we doing this? I mean, what's the point of this here? Well, if you take a look at some of the projects that are out there in the real world, for example, I have one here that we built together in the NativeScript Core Pro course, you can start to have a feel for the benefit of this when you take a look at all the different imports that happen here. So we have a lot of imports and I have a lot of pages and some of these have a lot of core imports. So we have a bunch of layers here. Let's take a look at the core layer and here's an app state service. Now these are independent of native script, so I shouldn't be looking at that, of course. And that's one of the key topics actually that we discuss in that course is how to structure your application so certain parts of the app can be abstracted that away and they don't depend on native script. They're just standalone application parts. That's just good architecture. Now the infrastructure layer has our repositories and then our navigation abstraction is here. Here we are using quite a few of the core modules. So all these lines right here can be converted just to one single import statement, just one line. That's gonna be four lines converted to one line. And you don't need to remember anymore what's coming from UI slash label, what's coming from UI slash layout slash stack layout. I mean, you know what's coming from there. It's a little stack layout, but still it's a pain to import these. You just have one import statement and you're done. All right, so that's the benefit of having these. Now, if you have an older project and you wanna convert it one step at a time and you don't wanna have that extra memory usage, it's not that much memory usage, but it's still a little bit. There is a Webpack trick that you can do, and this was published first on Fluent Reports and it was proposed by Richard Smith. He's another NStudio partner. Let's pop open Webpack config file and take a look at that. So we're gonna go down here to webpack.config and we're gonna find the alias section right here. So here is the current alias that we have. We can use this tilde right here and use app full path. And we're going to add two more alii, alii, aliases. I don't know. Let's add two more aliases here. One is going to be TNS core modules. And this is going to point to at native script slash core. So this is for core projects. Now for angular projects, Let's go to our Angular project. This also has a Webpack config. Let's find that alii area. It looks pretty much the same. Here we're gonna have two aliases that we're gonna add. I'm just gonna paste them in right here. One is gonna be native script dash Angular. It's gonna point to at native script slash Angular. And the other one is that core modules one that we already saw. All right, so that's the fix. And that's scope NPM packages for you in a nutshell. Very cool new feature in NativeScript 6.2. Go grab it if you haven't already and play with it. And make sure you convert all your imports to scope namespaces. It's just really cool. I love it.
I'll see you all in the next video and happy native scripting. Oh, and by the way, Nathan Walker and I just finished an advanced native script UX workshop in Boston at JS Mobile Conf. We're going to be doing another one in NG Atlanta along with Dave Coffin, who is a contributor on this channel. We're all going to be there. We're going to be at NG Atlanta in February. Come check out the workshop. You can register for it now. The registration is open. We're going to be doing some really cool advanced native script techniques over there that you have to see. All right. See you later.